My name is Franklin Miller. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering at the University of Wisconsin. In my lab, we study cryogenics, and I'm also affiliated with the Solar Energy Lab. Cryogenics is an enabling science, really. It enables a lot of the things that we use day to day. One really good example is the uh, MRI machine. MRI machines have magnets inside them that are superconducting magnets, and they are bathed in liquid helium that's at 4.2 degrees above absolute zero. Cryogenics is also used in spaceflight applications. Immediately before I came here, I was working at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, and I worked on several projects, one of which was the James Webb Space Telescope which is a cryogenic instrument, and several cryogenic instruments. Some of those are very cold at six degrees above absolute zero, and the rest of the instruments are at 38 degrees above absolute zero. The thing that I really enjoy now is taking that information and conveying it to students in a way that they become excited about engineering and science. How they can use their scientific and engineering knowledge to do interesting things in the world, or help answer some of the big questions about how the universe works or solve some problems that we have as humanity with respect to energy. There are two products that come out of the research. One is the set of milestones or goals that we achieve, but I think the more important product out of that is that researchers come out the other end. The students in the process of doing that, conducting that research and as a part of the mentoring process they go through, they end up being independent researchers at the end of their PhD. If they're coming to do cryogenics, I would tell them is the best programming cryogenics in the country is at the University of Wisconsin-Madison.